Welcome Classic Rock fans to another episode of Classic Rock Conundrums. And today's poser is simply uh, Merillion, Hogarth or Fish. Um, it's kind of a tricky one really because uh, a lot of people walked away from Merillion after Fish departed and Merillion have gone on a, a journey to kind of win those people back as well as new fans of course. My Merillion story is, is rather interesting because I also were one of those people that left supporting the band after Fish departed. Uh, I didn't bother with Season's End or any of the albums afterwards. However, my, my brother actually let me uh, put together a CD sampler for me of uh, some of the songs from the Hogarth period. And I couldn't believe how absolutely fabulous they were. Much to the extent that I've started, I started buying the Hogarth albums, listening to them. Yes, there's a different feel, to uh, a different mood to a lot of the, the music that they made uh, with Fish. But then my feeling is, if you look at... Merillion with Fish, I mean, Script for a Jessity, Grendel and all that that we sort of cry out for um, was very much on the wane by the time they got to Clutching at Straws anyway. Clutching at Straws seems to be an almost a, a much more radio-friendly album compared to uh, Script for a Jessity. You get Fugazi, which has a rockier sound, then you get the concept album, of course, Misplaced Childhood. But by the time you get to Clutching at Straws, there seems to, they seem to be departing more towards more mainstream uh, sounds and songs compared to Script for a Jester's Tear, Grendel and Forgotten Sons. In fact, I think towards the end of Mer uh, Merillion with Fish, even Fish refused um, to perform Grendel. So it seemed to be, Season's End certainly seemed to be the direction that the band were going in anyway. In saying that, I think Hogarth is a, an incredible songwriter, a brilliant lyricist, absolutely brilliant lyricist, very clever, profound lyrics, and um, a, a remarkable singer, a great singer as well. I think their new album, Fuck Everyone and Run, is as, as good as anything they've ever done, in my opinion. I think it's a remarkably good album. Uh, I'd also think Marbles was a fantastic album. I think Afraid of Sunlight is a great album. Season's End is a, is a really, really good album as well. But nevertheless, I still I still love all that fish stuff as well. But for me, Marillion are um, uh, I love them as much with Steve Hogarth as I, I did with Fish. Uh, so I'm very much sitting on the fence here. So what are your thoughts, Hogarth or Fish, um, and why? Please leave your comments in the box below. Please click like and subscribe. Check out the Facebook page. But more importantly, please do keep listening.